What's up guys, we're here at the University of San Diego, gonna go on a little tour. This is episode two of our D1 facility tour series, so we're super excited to get going. So our tour guide is a player on the team, uh, his name is Max, so he's gonna give us a little tour of all the facilities. We're super pumped to be here. And of course, as you guys know, we're at the Area Code Games, officially official staff uh, Area Codes. If you guys have been following along with my socials, you've seen like what's been going on. We've been uh, here doing content all week, it's been super fun. Like I said, this is episode two of the facility tours, let's get right into it. So this is our tour guide, Max. Uh, Max, why don't you introduce yourself to the people? Yeah, I'm Max, uh, I just graduated from the University of San Diego. Spent four years here, played four years of baseball. Um, I was a utility guy, I played um, outfield and first base, left-handed hitter, and decided to show you guys around. Hell yeah. Shout out Los Reyes, sunglass company. They hooked us up big time, and this is Max's gift for being our tour guide. Yes, sir. Thank you guys, appreciate it, bro. All right, let's get into it. All right, well, so welcome to Fowler Park. Um, this stadium was built uh, in 2013. It's actually funny, this stadium used to have, I remember coming here when I was about uh, probably nine or 10 years old, and the field actually from the, the top where the Fowler Park thing okay, is yeah. up there, where the, yeah, where the arch is, it used to be like literally maybe four rows of seats coming straight down. No way. <laughs> yeah, and it was like literally like, I mean, from what I remember, it used to be, like this is so much different. Like yeah. it used to be all dirt on the sides. I'm pretty sure those cages were actually like, they were pushed out. Just like it, we didn't have that second tunnel over or the, oh, the, really? the first tunnel towards okay. us. Uh, like this was Chris Bryant's last year when this was like fully redone. So, I mean, it's been a beautiful place. It's been great to me. Like the press box, um, the suites and everything that are up top behind home plate. I mean, from what it used to be, this is amazing. The cages, we got three tunnels. We got two machines in the back too. It's pretty sweet. It's got lights and everything, so you can come in here whenever you want. I mean, I was a cage rat, so I was always down here. Swing yeah, like always that, in yeah. my free time. So, I mean, causing some noise complaints, which I'm not proud of, but to be honest, I mean- you're barreling it though. Exactly, so <laughs> yeah. like, I mean, just to get to use those whenever you want was, I mean, it was great for me. It was great for my teammates and for stuff sure. like that. I mean, they're probably about, I don't know, 20 feet wide. So, I mean, you get a good assortment. You can actually pull in the back too. There's a that, that splits it used to be just one big tunnel but gotcha. it splits the two so if you pull it back like sometimes like at practice we'll do like uh like angle hitting so you could open it up oh, cool. and then yeah. you could go from the left and the right side which yeah. is pretty cool let me introduce you to the man myth the legend this is thomas lovano he's 2021 up, wcc player of the year one of my teammates i'm dan great to meet you dan great yeah. to meet you What's up, brother? Sweet. it's awesome like i said i've spent so much time in here it's basically like home um I mean, this is like when we had rain delays and stuff like that. Obviously, we would come in here a lot. And with the lights, it makes it I mean, virtually usable whenever you want. This is so, yeah, this is awesome. what we used to do is we used to set an L screen up over here, an L screen over there. We'd have to in the middle on this, uh, the middle mat right there. And then coach would throw us BP from both sides just to kind of switch things up when we were like doing different type of batting practices. So, you know, like I said, I mean, obviously, you can take a further look if you want, but yeah, I mean, this is, yeah, this was home for me for a lot of nights. So, we'll take a look at this. Awesome. Yeah, so they obviously they redid it with turf. There's two mounds, pretty basic stuff, but super nice to have the ability to even throw on your own home field. Like, I mean, it, I mean, it sounds really basic, like to have a bullpen mound and to have like the ability to throw like on the field. Yeah. But like, this is where all the pitchers will awesome. throw their bullpens. Yeah. Um, it's great. Like, yeah. obviously, like it's right. super open, so you can get a lot of video here. Yeah. You know, I've been taking taking video of the guys all week. Just yeah. Like right yeah. Here. Looking I mean, at the field, which is great. Like yeah, exactly. Very. I mean, it's so easy to use and yeah, to, and to like. I mean, like yeah. I said, when when I would use the cages, there'd be pitchers throwing bullpens in here, getting early work. Yeah. Stuff like that. Like, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of um, opportunity to like right. do band work on the never side of the walls crowded. with. Right. right. Yeah. So no, like it's never been. There's never really been an issue with like guys need more space or anything. Like that. yeah. So that's always been nice. So, I mean, essentially, that's just for like when we come in the doorway. Like, yeah. Obviously, that's the first thing you'll see when you're grabbing your cleats. Uh, and then when you come out this way, obviously, right behind, right. that was our, I mean, that was kind of our motto from the beginning of the year where, obviously, we played a lot of good teams this year, so, I mean, it just keeps you in the mindset of, like, we're not out here to, like, play chess, but yeah, right. or, like, play baseball and get after it. Yeah. Right here. So yeah. this is the home dugout? Yeah. The right I'll side, you or no, yeah, the whiteboard that's right in front of us is the new one. Right, line that's that's line for yeah. practice and stuff like that, like, like having them, yeah, yes, making it easier for ourselves, you know? Awesome. And so you kind of just walk up here, yeah. And you got this beautiful field. We put in new dirt. They zeroed the infield, so like the grass, yeah. the dirt, and the, the outer lip, at least the outer grass. I'm not saying that that's all about like the field <laughs> surface and it being super nice as it is, but doesn't hurt. I mean, though. it definitely. I mean, talking to a lot of teammates of mine, I think that they thought it played a lot better. Crazy to see all the uh, all the changes here. Yeah, for sure. 
players lounge right here. Yeah, so this is the players lounge. A lot of guys do homework over here. Oh, I've cool. done that as well. Like whether it's between class and a practice or practice in a class. All the pros, that's crazy. This is, that's a lot. <laughs> one of the, yeah, you, one of the coolest parts, like, I mean, obviously like you see Chris Bryant all over the place, but just to see his name, oh, you see the all the awards, yeah. you know, I have a bunch oh. of ex teammates on this wall. It's super cool to see that, you know, there, and there's a couple more that have to get their name put on sure, after this yeah. year's draft. And yeah, so this is like, obviously it says the road to Omaha starts here. So like yeah. when you walk in, so Ryan Mattis, yeah. I mean, just an AJ Griffin was actually um, a starting pitcher for the A's a while back. James Metter was a, I think he was a two time WCC player of the year. But I think this is the first team that ever got to a regional, I think. Yeah. It was either that or the first team to win um a conference tournament which is crazy because we just won yeah. the wcc conference tournament this year, this year. which is an yeah, unbelievable, is unbelievable experience yeah. just to see our team come together at the right time i mean we haven't been to a regional since 2013. i mean there was a lot of you know a lot of things that needed to happen for us to be successful and to, for us to get to where we wanted to go and luckily we had a lot of great players yeah. like i said so thomas lovano who we saw in the cages was the 2021 player of the year and then one of my best friends from usd caleb ricketts recently won the 2022 West Coast Conference Player of the Year. So like, I mean, you'll see there's a lot of, a lot of great players. Chris Bryant, yeah. Did it challenge you to a quick game of three for a shot? <laughs> I feel like you're probably not bad. Quick game of five, one out. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Sometimes there's just good opportunities. Baseball players are always sneaky good. Oh, uh, except for Leo. Uh, three on you. <laughs> oh, hey, oh slams it home. All right, so what were your four years uh, as a Torero like? I mean, super special. I mean, like I said earlier, it wasn't necessarily because my family came or like my, my dad came here, but I mean, it just felt like home to me. I think that it taught me a lot of lessons about toughness, about having faith, about being a good teammate. Just like there's so many different ones that I could pick from. And I think it brought the best out of me. Like I experienced a lot of failure, a lot of success. Like I said, there, it showed me a lot of patterns about myself that I need to work on later down the road, especially if I want to keep playing. Like super knowledgeable in education too. Like I'm super glad that I have a degree from here yeah what was your best moment from your career? best moment i mean how could you not say i mean it would either have to be winning the wcc tournament yeah. in stockton or when we beat vanderbilt come in the ninth fastball line down to right field right at the right field that'll do it peraza makes the catch and san diego has won it a 3-2 win over vanderbilt they will move into the winner's bracket here in the Corvallis Regional. Oh, yeah. Um, with Bryson Motts on the mound. Crazy opportunity to be a part of, you know? I mean, I think that when you grow up, if your dream is to play in Division One baseball, you think about playing in the regionals. I mean, you played at Oregon State, one of the most historic kind of atmospheres, like the fans were nuts. Crazy, you know, life moment where you just get to reflect and like, it's so vivid for me, all the, the memories. Like, I mean, just having a chance to win, that was enough for me at totally, least. Yeah. Um, the WCC tournament and being a part of a team that's, that hasn't done it or being part of a program that hasn't done it in nine years and to, to be the team that gets over the hump. The dog pile, the celebrations after, like the moments at the hotel of just like feeling like real genuine happiness of being a part of something that is ultimately a lot bigger than just one player or just one coach. What advice would you give to like a high school kid who wants yeah. to play for USD? I mean, I would first and foremost say that before baseball, education, if you can't get into school here, huge, <laughs> huge issue. Big, so yeah. make sure you get good grades. Playing at the collegiate level is all about toughness. Um, it's not just about skill. Obviously, like you have to have ability to be on the field, like being able to control how much that ability shows up. I mean, that's what's gonna keep you on the field. Consistency is important, but it, like, it really is. Like if you, if you don't have the right mindset to play at your best all the time, it's just super hard to, you know, to be a college or a collegiate baseball player anywhere, so. Yeah, I mean, it really is. It is insane. It's a beauty. I like that you said like cathedral like first. I mean, it's it really, totally like, like that. I mean, it's, it's just totally like that. Like I said, I mean, there's just so many cool little like tidbits that you all right guys, so it may or may not be the next day and I went to the bookstore, got some merch. So if you guys want to win this, drop your Instagram tag below, drop a comment and that's how you enter. It's pretty simple. Got this dope bag, but this is actually sick. I kind of want to keep this, but I'm going to give it away to you guys. And we got some cool stickers chosen by yours truly. So if you guys enjoyed the tour, drop a comment, let me know and let me know what school I should go to next. And that's going to do it. See you guys in the next video. Peace.